Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday. I am here to mix it up for you guys a little bit. So if you watched my video on Monday, I had mentioned having an unboxing from a certain diamond painting company, but I came home from work yesterday, which I'm filming this on Tuesday. So I came home from work on Monday and I had a diamond painting sized type of package on my doorstep. And you guys know that I'm on a no buy. So I was like, what is this package? So I went out and I grabbed it. And it is actually a kit that was sent to me by a company, which I have done an unboxing for them before, uh, which is <laughs> Licenciel DP, DP. I don't know if that is correct. Uh, I added a letter there. So that's, I didn't mean day DP. I just meant DP. Um, I have done an unboxing for this company before, and I had been in contact with the owner. I'm pretty sure it was prior to Christmas and um they had given me a couple of options to unbox on my channel and i got really excited because one of these kits is has my name written all over it <laughs> if you watch my channel regularly so what i'm gonna do is i actually don't know which diamond painting is in here so maybe i should okay let me open the box give you my full reaction to which one I got and then I'm going to lay out my kit like I normally would. I started to open it and then I was like no 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 like <laughs> do a full a full reveal. So my address is on the other side. Okay I have a pair of scissors. I think I can just muscle into this though. All right. Ooh okay this is new so I have a very large bag of goodies. I'm not quite sure what's in there. Okay, here is the diamond painting. What did I get? What did I get? Oh, yes. Okay, so I got the Rainbow Otters kit. Oh, look at how cute they are. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay, so <laughs> let's take a look at what's in that bag and then I will get this canvas laid out. I do have my overhead light on today, which I'm hoping won't cause too many problems, but I can turn it off if I need to. Ooh, okay, this is jam-packed. Now, I did see that um, this company is now carrying putty. Oh my goodness. There's so much stuff in here. Okay, so we have what looks to be a resin-type trash minder. My magnet, there we go. That is so pretty. I do have their website open, so I can take a look really quickly uh, to give you guys some more info here in a second. We have, I don't know if this is a sticker, can't quite tell, but we have the logo. I love the colors of their logo, it's so pretty. I have, ooh, a scratch card. And we have, a business card. So they are on Facebook, Instagram, and it looks like they have a Pinterest. I genuinely do not use Pinterest, <laughs> but I believe I'm in the Facebook group and I'm pretty sure I follow them on Instagram. I will actually have to double check, but it says accessories and diamond paintings. I have, oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. I have some drills. So it looks like I'm thinking these are glow in the dark. So 3865, 798, and 394. I'm assuming it's glow in the dark because it says GD. And these are all square drills, which is actually the uh, type of drill for the canvas. So I'm wondering if these could be substituted. I'll have to look when we pull out the drills. I'll have to see if these are colors that are in the diamond painting. That is very cool. And then we have some wax and putty. So for the wax, oh wait, this is putty too. Are they both putties? Ooh, this is peach. Ooh, that smells so good. Look at how jam-packed this container is. And it does say on the bottom that it is peach. That smells really good. Ooh, it's kind of a little bit of a harder putty as well, which I do like. So I will definitely be trying this very soon. I think this diamond painting is going to go on my schedule 
for the summer. So I will definitely be trying these soon. Okay, and then this one is almond and honey. Look, it has a little stitch in there. That's so cute. Let's see. Come on, little friend. Come out. So it's kind of stuck to the container. I think my only thing that I might potentially say, and I don't know if this affects like shipping or anything with like customs and stuff, I would maybe recommend putting this on some type of like release paper or something just so it doesn't stick to the package, but that is definitely personal preference. Ooh, that smells really good. This smells like something from my childhood and I cannot pinpoint <laughs> exactly what it is, but we have a little stitch in there. That's so cute. That is very exciting. Let me, I do, like I said, I do have the website up and I want to find the diamond painting, but let's take a look at the putty. Okay, uh, putty. Ooh, so it looks like they actually have quite a few that are sold out. Very cool. I'm wondering like, how do you decide if you want the, oh, okay. So there's a sample, then you have the small size, medium, and large. I wonder what the, is this the large one? The one that I have here? Agave lime, that sounds like it would smell very nice. Very cool. So they have a ton of scents. Ooh, bacon. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one. Peanut butter. Chocolate chip biscuit. Rainbow candy. Wow. All right. I'm definitely going to have to to give this uh, putty a shot. And I will report back. I will definitely be using it in a whip and chat soon. Uh, and then we can discuss. All right. Let me find this diamond painting. Let me just search the shop. I did want to, oh, hold on. Rainbow. I wonder if I'm supposed to search it in French. Okay. Um, I did want to quickly say the last time that I unboxed from this particular shop, um, I wasn't able to translate the website, um, but I have been able to successfully do that this time. So for anybody that uses an iPad, I thought I would just give you, oh, here's the kit. Oh my God, it's so cute. <laughs> um, if you put the website up here and then you click this button, I can't see what I'm doing through my phone. You can see it says, um, once you click on it, it says like translate and then you can enable translation. So uh, if you are trying to shop from the site and you do not speak French, like I don't, <laughs> I do not, um, that is how you can do that. Um, something I do want to note is um, I believe there are no toolkits with this particular company. So let's just, you know what? Let's just do the whole thing together. Let's just get in here. Normally I would lay it out all neatly and I would take a look at special drills ahead of time. Let's just do it all together. Why not? All right, taking the plastic off. I'm so excited to see this kit. Um, I believe, Brie, if you're watching this video, <laughs> Brie or Lexi, I believe you guys did this event together last year. Uh, are you doing a pride event this year? Because this kit would be perfect. Pretty sure it was, I mean, it was in June, if I'm remembering correctly. And the requirement was like a rainbow kit. This literally says rainbow in the title, so... If you're watching, Brie, please let us know. And if you don't know yet, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so we do have our kit here in a plastic sleeve. I can confirm there is no tool kit in there, which is totally fine by me. Uh, as someone who's been diamond painting for a long time, I have so many tool kits. And I've also kind of perfected what works best for me in the way of pens and trays and all that fun stuff. All right, let's get this diamond painting out. Now, this is listed on the website at $61. Uh, at the time of filming, it is still currently a pre-order. You guys, some of the kits that they have 
coming up are so good. There's a beautiful Black Panther kit that's currently on pre-order. If I wasn't on my no buy, I would be so tempted. Okay, so I'm unrolling here. Oh, there is a toolkit in here. I'm confused. Oh, is it an option? The listing says without toolkit. So this is such a cute size. Oh my gosh, I feel very scatterbrained today. I do apologize. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling this backwards because it is poured glue. Uh, now the canvas is, it's not like, I don't wanna say felt, but it has that like short lint felt type of feel. Um, I have not worked on my other canvas from this company yet. It is out and visible <laughs> for me to pull to work on, but this one might jump ahead in line and I might work on this one first. Um, but I will say that I do think that the canvas will hold the drills well. Um, it's not super flimsy. It's not like really, really thick, which I actually don't like when they're super thick. I like when they're kind of in between. And this has that nice, like it still feels sturdy, but it's not super thick. And I think it will be nice to work with. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay, we do have scalloped edges here with the, is this called a serge? I think so, with the little poking here. This is supposed to help stop fraying. Again, I haven't worked on my other canvas, so I can't say for certain what the status is with fraying, but I will say that the edges look pretty good. I don't see a lot that's like poking up ready to, to shed, so that's a good sign in my opinion. At the top here, we do have their logo. Oh my gosh, there are 103 colors. What? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> there's 103 colors? That's absolutely wild. I don't think I've ever worked on a kit with that many colors. Whoa. <laughs> look at this legend. All right, let me lay this down so that you guys can look at the legend properly. This is me. Going on the fly here. This is why I usually uh, set this up beforehand. I think we're still a little crooked. Let me turn this light off. That is too dark, I think. All right, we'll just deal. Look at this painting. Okay, look at the legends. That is wild. So we have legends here. And then we also have a set of legends over here. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that there are, what did I say? A hundred and, I have two inventory sheets, you guys. A hundred and three colors. Whoa, oh my gosh. Okay, I am going to set up my other light <laughs> that will give us some light from the side. So hopefully I can turn off this overhead because the glare is driving me nuts. But I'm looking at the special drills, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen special drills. I don't know what JS stands for. Uh, and then we have some EVs, and then I'm assuming some crystals. So let me set up some proper lighting, and I will be right back. Okay. <laughs> I think I like that lighting a little bit better. Hopefully, you guys can see everything okay. <sighs> Okay, let's get into these drills. Holy crap, I cannot believe there are 103 colors. That is amazing. And so many special drills. This kit just moved like way up on my to-do list. <laughs> now, one thing that I will say about this shop, just to be completely transparent with you guys, is these kits are AI generated. And I love that this shop clearly indicates that on the sticker sheet. I... I'm not somebody who goes out of my way to find uh, AI generated artwork, but it's it's popping up more and more. There are so many shops that have AI generated artwork. Uh, I support artists 100%, but this is so cute. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. I am not boycotting or totally against AI artwork at all. If there's a kit that I love and I wanna work on it, 
I'm going to purchase it. So if you have strong feelings about that, I just wanted to be upfront with you all and let you know that right, you know, somewhere at the beginning of the video. Okay, I am still a little shook about the drills. So let's, let's grab some drills. We have a beautiful lineup. Now these are pre-bagged in baggies. And it looks to me like they are in order. Uh, I do want to mention that we have a code on the bag of drills, which is VK2316S. And let's see if I can see that anywhere on the canvas. Rainbow otters. Square diamonds. Okay, I do not see that printed anywhere on the canvas. Do we have it anywhere on the sticker sheet? Yes, we do. So on the sticker sheet here, it says hand charted, and then it has that same number letter sequence there. So unless I'm missing it on the canvas, I'm not seeing it. It's not like popping out at me anywhere. Um, but is it on the box? That is not the correct box. I threw the box with my excitement. excitement. Here it is. It is on the box. So if you're somebody who stores your diamond painting and your drills separately, um, you would be able to match it up with the box. These labels are pre-cut, which is awesome. We love to see that. And yeah, let's go back to the drills. This is an absolutely beautiful color palette. Just taking a little sneak peek at the quality, which we will look out here in a second, but absolutely beautiful colors, like those oranges and yellows, some teals, blues, purples, pinks. And then you can see we have some special drills. So let me open these. The way I have you guys set up isn't really ideal to talk about drill quality, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it work. All right, let's see here. I can confirm that these drills are in order in their baggies, which is awesome. I can't believe how neatly they came. All right, so we're looking for 99. 93. Oh my. Okay. Do I have two bags of drills? <laughs> no, I have them all. Okay. 101. Oh boy. <laughs> There's so many to show you guys. So from color 90 to 103. 90. Here we go. Wow. What type of drill is this? Metallic? I think these are metallic drills. Wow. I don't think I've ever had these come in a kit before. I'm going to actually move you guys closer to the canvas so I can work off of the floor so I can show you all of these beautiful special drills and then we can talk about where they are on the canvas. So I will be right back. Okay, hopefully this angle is okay. Uh, it's just easier to have a hard surface to put things down on versus trying to hold everything up to you guys. So let's talk about the toolkit. Now, again, I did receive a toolkit in this package, but I'm looking at the listing here on the website. And if you scroll down, it does say without toolkit. So I, I'm not quite sure if you can request one. Uh, I can definitely follow up on that if you guys have questions, but I did receive a toolkit in this package. So we have a thin four placer. We also have a thin 10 placer, which is very nice. I don't see a 10 placer very often. We have a big chunk of pink wax. We have a clear pen with a three placer an orange squishy, a pair of black pointy tweezers, 
These actually aren't too pointy. They're not like cut your skin open pointy. And then we have a white tray. So I'm gonna use the tray so we can look at some of these drills. I'm gonna put the rest off to the side. All right, let's take a closer look at these metallic drills because these are absolutely gorgeous. Now I am going to do my best to find where these are located on the canvas. Uh, normally I do this ahead of time when I do a regular unboxing on my channel, just so I can give you a really good idea of where special drills are. So obviously doing it this way, I may miss some. I do the best that I can. So we have this gorgeous metallic pink, and then we have a metallic purple. On the canvas, I cannot believe a, how many colors, and B, how many special drills. This is going to be so fun to work on. Okay, let me get to the second page. <laughs> and we have number 90 is this symbol. <coughs> Excuse me, this symbol on the canvas. Oh my, am I going to be able to find... <laughs> any of this. Let's see here. Uh, it's a light pink. So it's gotta be in some pink areas. I apologize if my head gets in the frame. I'm going to try to limit that, but it might happen. Okay, let's see. Let's see. There aren't very many in the bag, so there probably won't be too many on the canvas. Is that it? <laughs> hmm. It's going to come, it's going to pop out at me at some point. <laughs> All right, let's look for this other color and I'll see if it pops up. So this one is the heart symbol, I think, yes. So it is this beautiful metallic purple. Absolutely beautiful, these drills are so pretty. Okay, let's see if I can find the heart. I'm bound and determined. Oh, I found it. Okay, so we have some here in the water. Um. Where else? There's some down here as well. There's also some here as well as here. So kind of just sprinkled throughout. It looks like in the little ripples of the water, which is, it seems to be like their reflection. You have the sun coming down on them and then they have like little ripples in their reflections. Really, really pretty. I still don't see that first metallic, but it's gotta be here somewhere. <laughs> So those are the two metallic drills. Next up we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ABs. Wow. Okay, so first we have AB 321, which is a beautiful red. And that is this symbol here. Uh, I see some in the water here again, also over here. There's a few on the side of this otter's neck. There's also some on this otter's arm right here. Uh, some in the center, outlining the center of these flowers. Next we have AB666, which is Here is the color, and it is this symbol here on the diamond painting. So another red AB. And on the canvas, let's see here. Oh, there's also some of that last AB up in the trees here. And actually there is some of this AB there as well. So we have this tree up here that's kind of framed with red. I'm going to assume maybe there's some in that matching tree up there. 
uh, I'm seeing again some in the otters here kind of around that other AD which will look pretty I just I wonder if the colors are gonna show up different enough um, to be that close to each other but they're both like right next to each other in most of these areas but I think that they will be different enough you kind of have like a maybe this leans a little bit more cranberry and this is more like of a true red Next up we have 740, which is this symbol. Here is the AB. We have a little bit more of this bag. Let's see if I can find it. What's the symbol again? Okay. Um, all right, so I'm seeing it again in these same little water spots. I think that'll look really neat to have that uh, like difference in color of AB. Uh, let's see. I'm trying so hard not to get my head in the frame. Um, I also see some in the flowers here, uh, as well as in this water area down here. There's some again in the otters. I love 740 AB. I think it's one of the, mo the more striking AB colors because it comes out to be such like a really bright orange. Next up we have 742. Here is the EB, and it is this symbol here. Let's see. Okay, I'm seeing that on some of the otters up at the top here, kind of around their little cute noses. Also throughout these otters here as well. And I'm going to guess, let me see if I can get close enough. I was thinking maybe there would be some in the sun up there, but I don't see it. So it might be one of the next ABs coming up, um, but very pretty orange color. Next up, we have AB743, which is this symbol here. And here is the color. Let's see. I'm seeing that again in the faces of the otters. I don't know that I see it at the top. I thought maybe I would see some at the top. I could just be missing it. Um, yeah, I think I'm just seeing that one in the face of the otters mostly. There's a couple, I think, throughout here. Yeah, there's a few of them in there. Really pretty color though. I love, I love the orange ABs. I think they're really fun. Okay, next AB is 891, which is this symbol here. There is the AB. Really pretty, like, raspberry color. Let's see if I can find that one. Is that one in the sky? No, I don't think it is. Let's see here. I'm going to try to get my head behind the camera so you don't have to look at the back of it. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I see some at the top of the otters here. There's this like section of pinky magenta type colors and I'm seeing it throughout there. I think that'll be really pretty. I love all the ABs. There's also some in this flower over here. Found this on the web. Oh no. Sorry, <laughs> not my watch interrupting me. And do I see any on the sky? I don't think so. Oh, I found, wait guys, I found, I found this one. <laughs> I found the metallic. It's actually along the top here in some of those pinky purple spots on of the sky. That'll look really pretty. This first one that we could not find is up along the top there. Okay, we're down to two ABs. Next one is 996, which is this symbol right here. I feel like some of these are zodiac symbols, right? Isn't that like the Gemini symbol? Or maybe, I can't remember. I feel like some of these are zodiac symbols. <laughs> but here is the AB. And that one, or is this Pisces? I don't know. 
let me know in the comments if you are well versed. I'm a Sagittarius, so I really only know the Sagittarius symbol. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, I am seeing that along the otters' faces. I think these, I think they're gonna turn out so cool. They have so many different colors in them. I think it's gonna be really pretty. I'm looking at the rendering on the website and I'm very excited to work on this piece. Um, I'm also seeing it throughout the water. Uh, a lot of the water is line work. So a lot of like line color blocking, which I think will be nice. Considering there's 103 colors in this kit, I'm going to assume there's going to be quite a bit of confetti. So seeing those nice lines <laughs> of color blocking, uh, I think it'll be a nice, uh, a nice break from all of the confetti. So there's that AB. And then our final AB is 3846, which is this symbol here. And I'm going to guess this is in the water again, but let me verify. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm not seeing it in the water, but I am seeing it on the otter's faces where the blue shadow is. And yeah, I'm kind of just seeing it. There's some on their body here. But I don't think Yeah, a lot of the water has that other the first or the other AB right before this one that we were looking for. So many ABs. Okay, and then we have four crystals, which is so fun. <laughs> More common easy to use crystals because they really are fun. Alright, our first one is 581, which is the symbol capital letter H on the canvas. This is a green, so I'm gonna guess. I don't know why I feel like I need to guess. I can just look. Um, there is some down here in the water. I was gonna say some up in those trees at the top of the kit. So let me see. Yes, there is. So this tree up here has some H in it. I'm gonna guess over there also has some. There's not a ton of this crystal, but really, really pretty. Our next crystal is 720, which is the lowercase letter E on the canvas. So pretty. These, these crystals look really good quality too. I will dump a couple out for you guys so we can take a closer look. Uh, but as for this one, I'm seeing some on the face here of this otter, as well as here. Uh, there's also a few on this otter here. Uh, some in this flower. A couple in the ripples of water down here. Some in this flower. So pretty generous with this particular drill. I'm looking at these mountains over here and I'm thinking there might be a few of them uh, sprinkled in there as well. Next crystal is 906, which is this symbol. This is another green. Uh, so again, there's some in the tree over here, also over here, uh, which makes me think that there's gonna be some in the trees at the top left corner. There's also some in the otters in this green area. And then there are some on the leaves here as well. And then our final crystal is 915, which is the crescent moon symbol. Try to get some of these turned around. Really beautiful color. And there is some in this center of this flower right here. There's also some around this part of the otter as well as the ripples of water here, here. And is there any in the sky? I don't think that I see any in the sky, but wow, talk about jam-packed with special drills. Goodness gracious. Okay, the first thing I want to do here, this will be the last thing, but the first thing I want to look at drill-wise is 823. Now I am seeing a lot of static, but in these 
free bagged drills, that tends to be the case. I did not pour very many in there. Let's get a few more. I don't love these trays, but the drills seem to line up really nicely, quite straight edges. Everything kind of fell back into place really nicely. You guys know I'm, I'm having a little bit of a iffy relationship with square drills, but just from what I've seen in the bags, these do seem like they will be pretty good. Let's pick one more regular drill. How about 792? Again, we do have some static. But again, they just fell right into place. Very, very nice. All right, I want to look at these metallic drills. So let's do JS025, which is that purple. Wow. Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. Wow. Those are absolutely gorgeous. Now I have to look at the pink. <laughs> Let's look at this pink color. Oh, you know what? These are the heart. I messed up, you guys. Um, so when I said, oh, I finally found the light pink, I actually just found more of this color. So I still have not found this light pink metallic. Wow, that is so beautiful. Oh, this is so pretty. Our metallic drill is going to become like a thing in like standard in kits because I would be all about that. I cannot wait to see how these look in the canvas. I'm kind of bummed I can't find where that is on the canvas, but I will definitely report back once I work on it. Sometimes when it's that small of an amount, they can, it's just hard for them to pop out at you. So I will definitely make note of that um, when I work on it. All right, let's look at a crystal. We'll do this green. This like peridot green color. These look like very nice crystals. Yeah, they look really nice. They look like pretty high quality drills, which is awesome. Oh no, I don't want to lose you. Come back. Okay. All right, so those are the metallic drills, the ABs, the crystals. We looked at some of the regular drills uh, these square drills are resin. Let me verify before I finalize that thought. Yes. So resin diamonds. Okay, so this is saying resin diamonds with AB crystals and metal. So metal, metallic, same difference. Very cool. It looks like this kit is only available in square drills, uh, which is fine. It says square drills and then it says 100 square color. So maybe you can choose which one. I wonder what it looks like with less colors. Interesting. So that is today's unboxing. I am obsessed with this kit. How freaking cute is this little family of otters? Um, I do plan to 100% work on a kit from this particular company this year. I'm thinking it's going to be this one and it will most likely be at some point this summer. So if you are looking for more information on this shop or you're just curious about the quality before placing an order, definitely keep an eye out on the channel. I will probably have a kidding up video. Uh, possibly a whip and chat, and then also a post review. Um, I do just want to thank this company for sending me um, this beautiful painting. Let me, I have the owner's name in my head, but I always get really embarrassed when I mess things up. Vicky. 
the owner's name is Vicky. So thank you so much to Vicky for sending me this kit. It's absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to work on it. Let me just give you guys a little sneak peek at some other kits from them that I have my eye on because like, look at this painting, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this painting. Is that not gorgeous? It's so beautiful. And then I do still have my eye on the dragon, which I have. Oh my God, look at the cat. <laughs> uh, so this is the dragon that I talked about in my last video. Beautiful. And then look at this cat. Oh my gosh, I want everything. Look at how beautiful that cat is. And it looks like you can pick colors and size. So cool. They also have some Disney-esque uh, type of kits. Lots of animals. If you did not see my first unboxing for this shop, it was this beautiful unicorn. I will try to remember to link that in the description below, but just really beautiful diamond paintings. If you're interested, I will leave a link to their shop down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today's unboxing. <laughs> I just wanted to say just because a company sends me a kit does not mean that they get a glowing video or unboxing or review or anything like that. Uh, my reaction to this kit was genuine. <laughs> the 103 drill colors took me by surprise. I did not know that that was an option and that is very, very exciting. I have never worked on a kit with that many colors, so I cannot wait to dive into it. I'm also really excited about those metallic drills. I think they're beautiful. Um, but that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, links for Instagram for this shop as well as their website will be in the description. Please go check them out if you're interested. And I will see you guys in uh, Friday's video. Bye.